are very happy to receive you, to receive the latest briefings on uh, what has been happening in the sub-region and also with regards to the work of the Commission. You know, uh, the level of proficiency you have displayed in terms of your handling of the Commission. So you are warmly welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, and uh, let me start by giving our gratitude to you for uh, according us this uh, audience, despite a very busy uh, schedule. Uh, we have come just first of all to present to you uh, on my own behalf and on behalf of the ECOWAS institutions our congratulations for uh, your assumption of duty as current chairman of the authority and uh, it is also our pleasure and our honor to come and uh, inform you on uh, the key programs currently implemented by ECOWAS, but mainly to inform you about the follow-up action to the 44th summit, uh, which was held uh, last month in uh, Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. As your authority has uh, directed us, we have started implementation on the very key issues that you discussed during the summit and uh, mainly on the political issues, but also on development issues like the Common Excellent Tariff, uh, the EPA negotiations, and the infrastructure projects. On all these matters, we have undertaken action, and uh, it is my pleasure to come to inform you about uh, these developments and also seek your advice and your views on how best we can go about these community uh, programs and indeed I am very grateful to you to, for receiving me uh, on this audience. I am accompanied by Mr. Carlos Mbai who is a political advisor uh, to the President of the Commission and uh, of course we will be uh, happy to uh, send a team here to work with your administration in whatever matter they need, they need information. But uh, for the time being, I want to express to you mm. the readiness of ECOWAS Commission and all the institutions mm. to cooperate fully with you uh, for the success of uh, your mission okay. at the head of ECOWAS. Okay. Thank you.